Hundreds of New Jersey residents are now homeless after their apartment building in Plainfield. Those buildings were condemned. The city says that they weren't aware of the state of disrepair until this week. CBS 2's Doug Williams reports. Residents of 501 and 515 West 7th Street in Plainfield were told they had less than 24 hours to pack up and leave after the buildings were deemed unsafe by the city. Broken windows, poor ventilation in kitchens, and on cap gas conductors that were active fire hazards. Apartment complexes of this size are inspected by the state every five years. The latest inspection last year resulted in 235 violations. Mayor Mapp says those violations were not communicated to the city, and it was only after a tenant complained that they took action. The mayor says the city can now only provide temporary housing for about five days. We don't have anywhere to go. I have nowhere to, to live now, and I don't know what, what to do. One tenant we spoke to said the rent was increased in the month of August and that he generally paid by check. He would notice that the landlords would always cash those checks from the 10th to the 15th of each month. But he noticed that this month, those checks were cashed on the 8th, just a day before everyone was told they had to leave the building. You are missing the point. Safety comes first. As for the owners, their names appear on the website of the Cyclone Investment Group. The mayor saying those same owners have now had four out of their six buildings in the area condemned. In a statement, the owners tell us, we are doing everything possible to return our tenants to their homes as quickly, safely, and responsibly as possible. Building tenant Jose Menjivar says he's been reporting his apartment's condition to landlords for over a year and never heard anything back. Now his family has to pack up and leave with nowhere to go. In Plainfield, New Jersey, Doug Williams, CBS 2 News. Now, state officials confirm violations are only issued to building owners, not the city, and that the state is working in coordination with Plainfield to help those who have been displaced.